Time for this week's Moore's Millions, and it's the three mile five furlong variety. First, not to one forty this week. Our moral factor at the top for Leon van Rensburg, Bucco, and we be clarity for Martin Liam, Houston obsessive for Vinnie Gerrard, Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, Madeline Rose, Padre Hogan, Classic Ben, David Hooley, Trend Attitude, David Robertson, and Teal Storm for Graham Clutterbuck. So just nine in this then, and calling and away. And trend attitude right over on the far side. He's the first to show, but it looks like the green jacketed Houston Obsessive has got designs on being the front runner in this one. As so they make their way to the first of 22 fences that they've got to take in this. They get to the first, and they're all safely over it with the leader, Houston Obsessive, the rest of them almost in a line. So they make their way to the second. And Bucko, the one closest to us. As they complete the run to the second, which is a ditch. And they're all safely over that one with Cottage Rake. Just the back marker. Cottage Rake won a gold cup in about 1930 something, I think. I remember exactly what year it was now. Famous old racehorse name. As they get to the third. They're all safely over that one. Houston Obsessive, the leader. Bucco closest to us. That was a real horse in the 80s as well. Nowhere near as good as Cottage Rake, mine, but a decent handicapper. As they get to the fourth. A little safely over that one. He's a decent handicapper in the SO7 world as well. Having picked up the Whitbread Gold Cup last season. And he's currently enjoying his third or fourth season, I think, as they get to the fifth. Started off as a five-year-old, I think he's an eight-year-old now. So, must be four seasons. I think he managed to win every season. So anyway, back to the race, and it's Houston Obsessive in the lead. From Bucco in second. And then Madeline Rose and Trend Attitude as they get to that ditch, which they all get over nicely. Classic Ben is just the back marker. But Houston Obsessive leads in to Bucco in second. And then Trend Attitude, Teal Storm after that one. Madeline Rose is just tucked away on the inside with behind that one we be clarity as they get to the seventh. And they're all over that one okay as well. Though Cottage Rake was a bit untidy on landing at the back. And Classic Ben continues to be the tail in Charlie, but there's still a long, long way to go. Two and a half miles in fact, and Houston Obsessive is in the lead. By about three lengths to trend attitude in second. And Madeline Rose is third, Weeby Clarity is now moving to fourth. And on the inside is Moral Fact, Teal Storm on the outside of that one, then Cottage Rake. Bucco's dropped towards the back as they get over the next, and Classic Ben made a mistake. Went at the back, and it's now three lengths or so adrift on the rest of them. Houston Obsessive comes down to the ninth. And there was a four there, Cottage Rake's gone, so. Probably most famous horse in the race is out, and Cottage Rake carries on riderless. No doubt be back next week for another go, and it's Houston Obsessive in the lead then, leading by five or six lengths to Madeline Rose, who's in second. Trend Attitude is third, Moral Fact is fourth. We meet Clarity on the inside. Teal Storm trying to come round the outside, then the back to Buckeye and Classic Ben as they take the tenth, and they're all safely over the tenth. With Houston Obsessive. Join an uncontested lead and jumping nicely. Most of them are jumping pretty well. And Houston Obsessive, he's got a hard hold on him. I don't want him to go too fast. They're inside the final two miles now, they're passing the Fairy House sign and past the winning post and one more circuit of this big galloping track to go. And it's Houston Obsessive in the lead from Terrend Attitude, who's now going into second. Teal Storm is third, and then Moral Fat, Madeline Rose, then Weeby Clarity, bit of a gap back then to Bucco and Classic Ben has made up the deficit and is now alongside Bucco at the back. Over this plane one they go. We've got a slow jump there by Trend Attitude. But nothing too serious. Classic Ben's now gone past Bucco as they come towards the final mile and a half. Well, Houston Obsessive is three clear. Trend attitude and moral fact over this ditch. All safely over the ditch. 
the order, pretty much the same. Houston obsessive in the lead. Trend attitude second. Moral fat third. Madeline Rose sitting quietly on the rail. Then on the outside, Teal Storm. We be clarity is going to need some racing room. Classic Ben and Bucco getting closer as they get over the 14th. And they're all safely over the 14th as well. With Houston obsessive still the leader. Line of four. Shear in second. As they take this right hand turn. Houston obsessive into the next in front. Good jump there by Trend Attitude as he goes right upside the leader. Moral Fact is back in third. Then comes Madeline Rose, Teal Storm, Weeby Clarity has now been pulled out to come round the outside. Classic Ben is the one to keep an eye on, getting closer with every stride. Then Bucko at the back. But Houston Obsessive is back in a clear lead of a length to Trend Attitude in second. Moral Fact third. They're queuing up behind. They're getting much closer. Classic Ben just running into the back of the Leon Van Rensburg horse. There they come down to this ditch. And over that ditch they go. And they're all safely over that one with Houston Obsessive in the lead by a length. Trend Attitude. Attitude is second, gap of three or four then to Classic Ben who's come from last into third, then we be Clarity and Moral Fact and then Teal Storm and Madeline Rose, Bucko the back marker but it's Houston Obsessive at the 18th over in the lead, slow jump there by Trend Attitude is allowed Moral Fact to go up on that one's outside, then comes we be Clarity, Classic Ben, Madeline Rose is next and then Bucko's gone past Teal Storm as they make their way then towards the next fence you can see the the um, grandstand in the distance that's where they're headed for and it's Houston Obsessive who's been in the lead pretty much all the way leads by two and a half lengths to Trend Attitude is regained second over this play one they go oh and he's a crashing fall there for Madeline Rose Madeline Rose has gone so Padre Hogan Swartz is out of the race and it's Houston Obsessive then three lengths clear with four furlongs to go Trend Attitude is now starting to look tired getting over the third last fence they go and it's Houston Obsessive in front from now Moral Factors move through in a second Classic Ben is third then a tiring trend attitude We Be Clarity and Bucko trying to run both one pace Teal Storm is out of it it's Houston Obsessive who's still three clear coming down towards the second last Classic Ben, Moral Fact, We Be Clarity are all trying to close but it's still Houston Obsessive who's been in the lead all the way over the second last they go and Classic Ben jumped up in second Moral Fact, We Be Clarity getting closer Houston Obsessive under strong pressure now Classic Ben's getting closer, so too's Moral Fact, so too's We Be Clarity at the final fence, over it they go and a mistake by Classic Ben, Houston Obsessive a length and a half up again, it doesn't look like they're going to get to him, Classic Ben's having one last go, Houston Obsessive is tied Classic Ben is getting closer. Houston Obsessive in the lead. Classic Ben is getting there. And Classic Ben is beginning to get up. And Classic Ben pokes his head in front of the line. Classic Ben wins it. Houston Obsessive second. Booker run on will to be third. Then we be Clarity. And so many times today we've seen a horse lead virtually all the way and then get cornered on the line. And Vinnie Gerard did it to somebody else earlier on today and he's had it done to himself now classic Ben for David Hooley the winner Houston obsessive of Vinnie Gerald unlucky second Bucko for Martin Lee and Rana Wallaby third moral fact for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth and Weeby Clarity was fifth